Flying business class is awesome. Starting from the priority check-in, the added luggage, the lounge access, then of course the life latches on long distance flights and the onslaught of uh, champagne and delicious foods inside the aeroplane. Business class is absolutely amazing, but unfortunately, it is also incredibly expensive. Well, over the past few years, I've figured out a few ways that we can fly business class without it costing us an arm and a leg. And one of my favorite methods is what I'm gonna share with you guys today. Um, if you watched our vlog over on Making It Happen vlog, you will have seen that uh, we flew from South Africa to Europe a few weeks ago, and we were able to get a business class flight that costed less than the equivalent economy class ticket. So the way we did this is by planning a purchase of miles and then immediately using those miles to book a flight. Now, it sounds very, very complicated, but trust me, it is much, much easier than you think. On this specific occasion, actually the economy class tickets were way more expensive because at this time, a ton of flights were canceled due to the Omicron variant that was discovered in South Africa. And it was really, really hard to find a con connection to Austria. And we were very lucky that this hack right here was available at that time. For a good comparison, when Nelly's sister flew to South Africa, her ticket cost more than 600 euro and our business class ticket back to Europe cost $600 per person. So really, really an incredible deal. Now there's a few things that you need to know before you are able to book this flight and a few warnings that I would like to give you as well. The mileage program I'm going to present to you today is Life Miles from Avianca. Now Life Miles has some incredible mileage deals that you can take advantage of and it comes a few times per year. The most important thing is, regardless if you plan on buying miles right now or not, the important thing is to get your Life Miles account set up. I have put a link in the description box down below. You just click it, you sign up, you put in all your details. So when a mileage deal comes up, you are ready to go and you can buy the miles right away. The second thing you need to know is whenever I use Life Miles, I have a specific trip in mind, meaning I don't buy the miles and just keep them in the account. What I do is I look for a specific flight that I need, then I check if there's a mileage offer on Life Miles and then I actually buy and book at the same time. That way you don't run into the risk of maybe the mileage program getting into some financial issues where they have to shut down the program. It's always safer to buy the miles for a specific booking that you have in mind. So right now, Life Miles has a deal going today, tomorrow and the 27th where you can get two miles per mile that you buy, plus they give you an additional 40% bonus, which is just absolutely incredible. If you look at their reward chart, you will need anywhere between 45 and 65,000 miles for a long distance one-way reward ticket. This means a long distance reward will cost you anywhere between $600 and $900 per person. That is one way, but also they have special sales going on for specific routes. So it really makes sense to sign up for a newsletter or check up on their website every now and then. So you can see there are some routes that are heavily discounted and you won't need as many miles. But overall, if you would compare buying a business class ticket right out in comparison to using this mileage deal, you're gonna be saving anywhere from $2,000 to $6,000, depending on the route, the date, and the promotions currently going on on that website. What I really love about Life Miles is they're part of the Star Alliance, which means you get to travel on, for example, my favorite airline in Europe, which is Turkish Airlines, but you also get to fly on airlines like Austrian Airlines, uh, Lufthansa, Swiss Air, and many, many more. Honestly, there's an endless combinations of flights you can book with this tactic. Also, you might consider searching for other airports than your home airport. So for example, if you're flying from Vienna, you might want to look at actually booking reward flights from Budapest, Prague, or Munich, just because availability can vary depending on the airport. So if you don't find the reward you're looking for or the availability that you're looking for right away, uh, don't be discouraged. Try and check airports that are in your vicinity or airports that are quite frankly cheap to fly to with some budget airlines like Wizz Air or Ryanair or Air Asia, Cebu Pacific. There are many budget airlines throughout the world and you can actually just relocate to an air 
port that has availability on the route that you're looking for. Okay, this next part is very, very important. Avianca and Life Miles have pretty much the worst call center you can imagine. So when you're booking, it is incredibly important that you do not make any mistakes. It is important that you are sure you'll be able to travel on that specific date. And you have to be sure that all the credentials that you put in are correct. Because if you make a mistake, trying to change that reward booking is very, very difficult, borderline impossible. And I have heard some horror stories from other people that have had a mistake or that have had to rebook or even cancel their flight. And it was very, very difficult to get back their miles and their money. Eventually they did, but it did take up to months. So really be careful when you're booking your flight. Don't book your flight too far ahead and also really only book flights that you know right now you are going to take 100%. Another tip is if you have a spouse, you might want to consider signing up for Life Miles twice. Often they have a deal where if you transfer miles to a different account, you'll get a 100% bonus on that. And it's just another way that you can just increase the amount of miles that you have in your account. Now, there are some other miles programs that offer similar deals. They're not quite as good as Life Miles, but I'll talk about them in a separate video. The reason why I wanted to bring this video to you guys right now is because that deal is happening right now. It's going on right now. And slowly but surely, the world is getting ready to uh, travel again also for tourism purposes for pleasure purposes so if you have something in mind a booking in mind a flight a trip something you've been waiting for for a very long time then right now is the time to get into the flight hacking game so let me know in the comments down below if you have known of this travel hack and let me know if you are going to give it a try if you're intrigued by it and if you think it's a as a good of a deal as i do right now one thing is for sure, this hack saved us when we were stranded in South Africa. Flying back to Europe would have been so, so expensive, even in coach. And flying business class gives you the added peace of mind that you are spaced a little bit further between passengers. It's a little bit more safe, um, or at least gives you the feeling of safety because you have your, your own space and it is very, very comfortable. Now, another warning, if you have never flown business class before, if this is your first business class flight, it can be highly addictive. So you kind of uh, don't feel like going back to economy class, or it's kind of hard to take the step back to economy class once you've enjoyed the benefit of business class already. All right, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.